All right, let's take you now to Toronto, where Ontario Premier Doug Ford is speaking, releasing well, details on Stage 3. My friends, every corner of our province is getting back to work. In June, Ontario created 378,000 jobs, including 66,000 new jobs in the manufacturing sector. And we're also making steady progress on the public health front. Today, 29 out of 34 regions are reopening fewer than five new cases a day, with 21 reporting none at all. We're continuing to see a decline in case numbers and in hospitalization. So today, we are ready to take the next step. 24 regions in Ontario, the vast majority of our province, will be able to enter stage three this Friday, July the 17th at 12.01 a.m. This includes all communities except the following regions. Toronto, York Region, Peel Region, Durham Region, Niagara, Windsor-Essex, Haldeman-Norfolk, Halton, Hamilton, and Lambton. As we all know, these regions entered stage two later on, so we need just a little more time. I want the people in these regions to know that we won't leave anyone behind. And we will provide an update every Monday on regional reopenings. We will keep working until every part of this province gets to stage three. My friends, this is great news. We're moving forward as a province, but we can't stop. We won't stop until we get every person in Ontario, until we get every worker in Ontario back to work and back on their feet. But today's news is an important step forward. It's an important step in getting life back to normal. And this will mean expanding the limits on public gatherings in regions as they enter stage three. The new limits will allow up to 100 people to gather outdoors and up to 50 people indoors. At all times during these gatherings, people must continue to practice physical distancing with those outside their social circle. And stage three will also give another boost to our economic restart. Nearly all businesses and public spaces will be allowed to open their doors safely. So today, I'm glad to announce the following businesses and places will be allowed to open in stage three. Dine-in restaurants, bars, gyms, and fitness centers, most personal care services, live shows, performing arts and movie theaters, casinos, recreational facilities and activities, team sports and live sporting events, and tour and guide services. We have over 170 workplace resources available online to help all of these places reopen safely. And a key part of getting people back to work is making sure parents, workers, have their childcare support they need. Minister Lecce will have an opportunity, important message today to update on how we're supporting parents as they return to work. And I know that parents want to know what school will look like this fall. My friends, let me be clear. I want to see every child in Ontario back to school full time this September. This is what we're working towards with the support of our medical officer of health and our local school boards. And I'm confident that we will get there. But we will not take unnecessary risk when it comes to our children. And that's why we have to continue planning for every possible scenario to keep our kids safe as they get back to school. My friends, we're making steady progress and we're supporting our own. And we're coming back stronger than ever before. Thank you and God bless the people of Ontario. Now I'll hand it over to Minister Elliott.